Congress. Michael, speaking of Congressman Reed, he joins us now live from our Corning Bureau. Yes, our Corning Bureau Chief Nikita Ramos with him right now. Good evening to both of you. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Brooke, Zach, thank you. And good evening, Congressman Reed. So we understand homeowners and private businesses are, who were affected by the flooding, they're not included in this round of aid. Now, would you be able to tell us more about what you're working on to make sure that the people who need the, the aid are getting it? Well, well first, uh, I just want to recognize the efforts of the community working together with the local and state officials that came together and then our direct request uh, to the administration and to the president that resulted in the $36 million award today. Uh, that goes a long way to helping out a, a community that was devastated as a result of these floods. Um, now, as we continue to go forward, Nikita, you're absolutely right, we've got to continue to be an advocate for the homeowners and the businesses. And that's working with our state senators and our state assemblymen, uh, people like Pam Helming, uh, Tom O'Mara, Phil Palmasano, and Chris Friend. Uh, we have been working together, hand in hand, to make sure that the state uh, can step forward. Uh, they have an application in for up to $50,000 worth of uh, relief here uh, that could go directly uh, to the homeowners and private businesses. So this is about all, all levels of government coming together uh, to stand with this community going forward forward and uh, overcome this devastation that we see there, uh, right. especially in Lodi. Right. And what about the places that have been hit um, even in like last month? That area, those areas were isolated. Is there a way to kind of group that into um, this aid? Yeah, that's why, uh, you know, the $36 million covers uh, all the impacted counties, and it comes from the same event. And then also going forward, that's why we also authorized, or, or I've uh, co-sponsored and drafted legislation at the federal level for state incentives to, as we rebuild, to mitigate future damages to property until potentially life, so that when we rebuild in these devastated communities, we do it in a resilient way, we do it in a stronger way, so that we don't have these types of repeated events time and time again. And so this is uh, what we're working on, and I'll just tell you, to the community out there and to all the leaders that came together, you know, we're with that community, those communities, not only today, but going forward to overcome this. Right. Thank you so much, Congressman Reed. Thanks. And I'll throw it back to you guys. Always, Tom.